From says, Iran regime wants to negotiate a deal so badly. U.S. President Donald Trump, referring to withdrawal from 2015 nuclear agreement, has said the Iranian regime wants to negotiate deals so badly. In a campaign rally speech in Cincinnati, Ohio, Trump said it was to protect American security that he withdrew from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA, as nuclear accord is known. Iran is a much different country than two and a half years ago when I took over. It was all over. Now, now they just want to negotiate a deal so badly, Trump told the audience attending the rally. Trump also drew attention to cash deliveries to Tehran the last month of Obama administration to settle monetary disputes who remained unresolved for decades. We gave Iran $1.8 billion in cash, plain loads of cash. I wonder what they thought when those planes landed. I wonder what happened to the cash. Can you believe it? $1.8 billion we gave them in cash, Trump said. NCRI Women's Committee urges dispatch of an international delegation to inspect Iranian prisons and visit political prisoners. The Women's Committee of the National Council of Resistance of Iran strongly condemned the brutal battering of four women political prisoners in Qarchak prison in Varamin. Monday, July 29, four political prisoners detained in the notorious Qarchak prison were badly beaten up by common criminals incited by prison authorities and dispensaries officials. One of the victims was reportedly in critical condition. The NCRI Women's Committee drew the attention of international organizations defending human rights and women's rights to the drastic conditions of political prisoners, particularly women, calling for urgent action to secure their release. Iran. Four prisoners hanged in two cities. According to reports from inside Iran, four prisoners have been hanged in Gohardash prison in the city of Karaj, west of Tehran, and in Mashhad prison, northeast of Iran. In other news, a man was sentenced to public hanging for the alleged charges of killing two agents of the repressive regime. The regime ruling Iran, with an atrocious human rights record, has the highest number of executions per capita. Mike Pence demands Iran release Christian women. The U.S. Vice President Mike Pence is defending the religious freedom of a Christian woman in Iran. This week in Iran, a revolutionary court judge sentenced 65-year-old Maro Hambara to prison for acting against national security and engaging in propaganda against the system. International Christian Concern reports Kambara was arrested last December. Local police raided her home, incarcerated her, and interrogated her for 10 days. On Friday, Mike Pence took to social media to voice his concern. He tweeted, Iran must free Mahroh Kambari today. Whether Sunni, Sufi, Baha'i, Jewish, or Christian, America will stand up for people of faith in Iran like Mahroch and Pastor Bedtams, whose persecutions are an affront to religious freedom. In a second tweet, the Vice President wrote, I am appalled to hear reports that Iran's despotic rulers have punished another Christian woman for exercising her freedom to worship. <laughs> 